Let's see what we got ourselves into. A tier 5 and 6 game. Fubuki, Gaidi, Agil, Aoba, Helena, Izumu, Bayern. KG5, Florida. Hmm. Let's uh, scout forth and see how it goes. Let's see if I can uh, remember the, uh, the actual soundboard. Oh yeah, the French got RDF now. I'm pretty sure it's how much I play French destroyers. The usual temptation for a destroyer is to tuck up in here because then you've got the island to protect you. It's also quite common for enemy DDs to do the same on the opposite side, so I'm just going to chuck some torpedoes out. Interesting, I'm to take those and I give. I know I'm going to go and detect it, there's no point in me firing my guns. Because if I fire my guns, I increase the potential of myself being detected by something else within my firing range. And I'm not going to reverse out there because obviously I fire torpedoes. He very well may have done exactly the same thing. Oh, someone just took an absolute chunk out of the isn't all there. Spooky. Uh, that will be victim number well, hopefully the first victim of the game. I'm just going to make sure I get the cap before I start shooting. Just gonna, yeah, touch tips. If I quickly back it up, I should be okay. I do have gold out. Okay. Fortunately, I don't have an I win button. But the Fubuki has accidentally wandered out of his smoke screen due to an engine being damaged. Ooh, the enemy cruiser is potentially close. Okay, the Aguil's dropped a smoke screen. I'm going to just loop in here, grab the cap, and then head back over to the north side of Bravo. That's going to be the plan. Well, not every plan survives first contact with the enemy. Spolygus, uh, what ship uh, uh, on the next campaign? Asian one comes with the new commander. I have DD Commander Mordor, 16-4. Would be nice inspiration for European DD. Yeah, so, from a, I think a Reddit post by Final Boss, one of the um, World of Warships Legends community managers, the way it's going to work is once you complete the, so basically, once you complete the campaign, you will be able to get one of the destroyers with Amity backing. 
So for two, uh, so once you complete the campaign, if you have empty backing purchased, you can then pick one of the destroyers. So for two thousand five hundred doubloons, you can pick one uh, the, the Friesland or the um, I can't remember the name of the is it Jung, Jung Lao or something like that. Um, if you want to have both of them, then you once you per, once you basically picked which free one you're going to have with the empty backing. You can then pay 17,500 doubloons to um, purchase the second one. Uh, I'm going to go for defend ribbons. Oh, come on, guns. I got picked out by a lot of things there all at one time. But we've managed to keep hold of the cap, which is probably the most important thing there. So yeah, Spartacus, so that's how it's going to work. Not exactly. Basically, next patch is going to see some massive changes to the game. Um, in, in general, it's going to be UI changes, how the campaign visuals work and things like that. So I'm not 100% certain of all the changes. Uh, there is a potential that there might be changes to sound in the game as well. I mean, we know they're working on it, so basically it's generally See, it seems like there's going to be some big changes happening uh, in the next patch. Okay, fine, it's fine. Someone reset the... Uh... I think I'm spotting them, so I can't uh, get... Oh, we got the Agil. To be honest, I should use AP. Specs are going to run out as well, typical. One last volley under Helen. Yep, that's going to be all I can do. One, two, three. Ooh, nice. <laughs> what? There's a Sean horse. Okay, I confess, I sometimes play aggressively. No comment. Right, advantage in caps. Mm. 
I can try and reset the Helena, but it's going to be so risky that I don't want to do it to the last minute. I could be extra cheeky and actually contest this cause with my engine boost on, because I have got gold out. It's really risky. What's my sensibility? Uh, I don't know, it doesn't tell you. Uh, I don't want to find out. <laughs> <laughs> Run! <laughs> left rudder, left rudder, thank you. Go on, my precious. Go on. It's taking one of the biggest threats off the map. That's a risk I'm willing to take. Oh, that gear's got two centerline launchers, so she can't do a French flip. Ooh. What would be the major difference for the Asian DD? It's basically an uptiered Benson. Um, looks like she can swap out one of her consumables for sonar. Which could be quite interesting. Um, I haven't looked into it too much. Because uh, obviously the trailer did come out while I was away. I'll probably look into it a bit more for for, uh, for Thursday as well as weekly. No, no, I need you to turn in or something. We get a couple of torpedo hits. Got two torpedo hits and flooding on her. Because I think she put my fire out. Oh, who's going to get the kill? Oh, if I get the kill, I get a Kraken. It's not going to happen. I bet Sean was going to finish her off. Yeah, she, mother, my flooding just stopped, so she just about saved herself. Ah, well, that was a rather nice game. Um, both of our division are, unfortunately, no longer live. Um, but yeah, I'm quite pleased. <laughs> hmm. Oh, that game's finished. Let's have a look. Aggio game. That was very good. Victory as well. I guess we uh, timed out on points. Warships as well. Well, well world warships there. Or um, Little Island coming in second as well. I think we definitely put our effort into that game. Hey, hey, sail the wave. Here comes the galloping major. Keep up, keep up, keep up. Get out of the way there, you fellas. Down. I guess this is the life. Now, hey, hey, 